ghosts into ghosts, covering them up for the night. Well, you might notice a few community leaders wearing the same outfit all week. There's a serious purpose behind it. Stephanie Buckley and Renee Karsten with Junior League of Topeka are here to tell us about it and explain. Welcome to you all. This is the fifth year for this. It used to be called the Little Black Dress Initiative. What this year are you calling it, Stephanie? Why the change? Yes, so this year we are calling it the Dress for Change Initiative. Um, the change in the name was kind of just to make it a little bit more inclusive to the community and um, make it so you don't have to wear a dress. You can wear a black outfit and yeah, it just felt like Whatever it was a lot more want. inclusive. Yeah. What, what is the point? What are you asking people to do and why are they doing that? So we're asking people to donate to raise funds for, um, you know, to bring back to the community for women's health, um, po period poverty and um, just generational poverty in general. Um, you know, we, we feel that when you wear the same outfit every day, it kind of sets the tone that when you lack options, you lack opportunities. Um, so if you don't have the funds to be able to buy a nice dress, you know, you can't get a good job to help get you out of that situation. So you're asking people to wear the same outfit all five days, and hopefully people will be like, why are you wearing that again? And then they, then that gives a, a, a time to have the conversation. And yes. beyond mm -hmm. just wearing the same outfit, you had mentioned uh, that there are other ways people can help. Right, so in addition to wearing the same black dress or black outfit, we also have t-shirts this year. So if you're not able to be an official advocate or if you're just a member of the community and still want to participate, then that's an option for you. And you can also donate directly. We're also hosting a supply drive for the Hope Center for the Topeka Rescue Mission. So there's lots of ways this year to be involved as a part of our Dress for Change Week. You had sent some information on why this is so needed. And I'd like to share some of that information and some of those statistics. And among the things that you say, one in six people in Topeka mm -hmm. live in poverty. Of those, 16% are under the age of five. We have our point in time homeless count every year that found 412 people, 322 households experiencing homelessness. More than 100 of those people are unsheltered, meaning they don't have a roof over their heads at all. And childcare, this is something that, that we talk about a lot. Childcare can be very expensive mm -hmm. for people. It takes up about 31%, a third of median earnings. And in 2020, fiscal year 2020, the state had more than 67,000 child abuse and neglect reports. And that really just, all of these issues seem so overwhelming. What is Junior League doing to maybe tackle them little by little and at least make some bit of difference? So we have lots of community partners that we work with, and as an organization, we work to train and educate our own volunteers to then go out and be able to make impact. Uh, last year, we partnered with the YWCA, and we donated, I think it was about 4,000 period packs to be used in their shelters. This year, we're partnering with the Hope Center and the Topeka Rescue Mission to donate again period supplies and toiletry supplies. So we, we work with other community partners that we have long-standing history with to make small changes and hopefully big changes as well. Where can people bring some of the supplies for the supply drives you're having? We have several locations through okay. town. Yeah, we have Aldridge State Farm, uh, Sensations Tanning Salon, uh, Vaughn Pediatric Dentistry, and then of course you can um, donate funds online or supplies online through our website. Why these issues, Stephanie? When you look at the, the things that this focuses on, talking about poverty and addressing that, why is that really a root issue that Junior League feels we need to, to work on? Um, you know, we're a women-led organization, and so women's health is one of the things that we feel is, you know, kind of hits home to us. Um, and so we kind of just, that's something that's really been our focus area this year. Um, and, you know, period poverty is huge as well. Um, a lot of women have to take time off work. Um, kids don't go to school for a week at a time because they don't have the need, the, the funds to get them stuff for their period and they can't go to school because otherwise they'd just, you know, be a little exposed it would feel like. Mm -hmm. so. Um, that's something that's kind of hits home, I think, to our mm -hmm. organization. Well, if you'd like to donate to support this or you want to learn more about the various initiatives that are out there, you can log on to JL Topeka for JuniorLeagueTopeka.org. You can learn about the Dress for Change campaign mm -hmm. and also su uh, support these changes happening mm -hmm. in our community. Thank you very much, Stephanie and Renee. Appreciate you both being here. Thank you. Thank you.